Hello. <laughs> See that little table right there? Now, little tables like that are on the side of the road all the time. Or they're in Facebook Marketplace for free. You can pick them up. They're in your town. They, you know, everyone puts up Facebook Market stuff. Facebook Marketplace posts in their free stuff now. So if you want to flip tables and make some money, economically, I might add. So if you have paint laying around the house, you know, a, a, a basic color, white and black, or just get some white, you know, a little white house paint. I got some duration here. Um, I got a little duration, but I'm going to tell you something. You don't even have to paint this, okay? Have you ever heard of something called... Um, Ah, now I'm forgetting there, but first of all, I'm going to show you how to do and what to do and how to flip this piece of furniture real quick. It'll take us, you know, a night. You have to let it dry. I'm going to turn it into a piece of art. Now, this is what I got going on. I'm going to show you what I do. Um, yeah, you have to have room in your house for tables if you're going to flip tables. Uh, put them up in Marketplace when you're done. This is a nice antique piece. Once people see what you're doing and they love your work, I get tables all the time. I get $100 for flipping tables. These are antique pieces. Um, you know, these ones, are. I put money into these. You know, I, I got some nice black paint. Um, but the table was a gift. And... Uh, you know, this is beautiful. Um, someone's look. Everyone wants this table. I'm surprised it hasn't gone yet. Um, and here's some cells that I just love how this came out. Um, and so this is my coffee table. It needs to be, uh, I have to do some more resin over it. That's a swipe. And there were some mistakes. And you know what? I hit them. Um, this paint on here it needs to be redone, but... Um, there was some mistakes and I put in some, um, you know, some foil and I suggested that to somebody else and they were like, wow, thank you. Cause it really does, um, add some, you know, uniqueness to this table, um, with the foil. Um, here's another one. This one came out really cool. There's one in my bedroom that came out really nice. It's a whole big uh, furniture set like with a mirror and everything um, this piece right here has been uh, it's an antique mirror it's been paint poured I have that on sale in marketplace for 75 I had to take it down because I didn't have good pictures of it um, but that's a nice piece those are just some pieces I paint poured but um Anyways, so we're going to do that. We're going to do the top of this. I have a lot of seascape ones. I love, everyone loves, that's why I'm doing this. Because everyone said, you should have a class. You should teach people how to do this. This is what I'm going to, usually I use Floetrol. And I tried this as an experiment before because it is a water-based glue. But it's also a sealer and a finish. So I'm going to use this as a pouring medium to mix with my paints. I'm going to actually put, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So I think I'm going to do a swipe. My last video paint pouring was, um, you know, mixing colors together in one cup. I don't know what we call that. But there's my white. That's going to be my cell activator. The white. I got a really pretty metallic blue here. So we're going to do, make it look oceanic. Um, and the house paint, I'm going to mix a little house paint because I'm going to do the house paint first. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to wash it down first. And uh, we'll get to it. Okay. I'm going to clean it really good. Oh, they call it distressed. That's what we're going to do. Have you ever heard of that? It will save you money. On a table like this, that the white paint is already looking pretty good, which I think I'm going to um, do the fun part here first, and I'm going to uh, paint for the top first. I'll paint for this. I'm going to take this off. 
And uh, this I got some silver spray paint. You can do things like go to the flea market and get nice little knobbies if you want to change them. Um, I, I need a screwdriver for that. So we'll do that afterwards. We'll put that aside. And I will take that out. And I have some silver spray paint that I'm going to use to spray paint that way. I definitely have to sand it because it, the paint is chipped, so it has to be sanded. And then I'll spray it. So you need to clean everything. If you're going to sell it, you know, you got to clean it really good. You got to clean all in here. Um, because we don't know where it's been. Yeah, it's all dirty in there. So at flea markets, they have, depending on where you go, I hit up on one that has antiques. Being a vendor, if you're a vendor, if you already go to flea marketing or if you're already selling things at a flea market, you can get a discount. You can get vendor discount. You let them know you're a vendor. I don't know if people know this or not. Don't, you know, I never knew about flea marketing. Somebody turned me on to it. Um, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. One of the best things. I mean, it saved my ass. Big time. It got me out of debt. Helped me sell the stupid stuff that I bought I never should have bought in the first place. So I sold all the things I was spending money on. Foolishly, like Michael Kors pocket books that I was not getting $500 back on those bags. You can put them on Marketplace. You still can't. You can go. The best place you can sell Michael Kors pocket books is, is Poshmark. I had to open up a, um, my first entrepreneurship trying to work for myself was Poshmark. Selling all my clothes, my brand name clothes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some house paint. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix up some um, some uh, I'm going to make a medium, pouring medium. I'm going to make my pouring medium. I'm going to learn how to do a pouring medium that is going to I'm hopefully thinking to myself, I might not have to do a polyurethane on the top, which is what I'm hoping for. Like, it'll just be nice and shiny and, and good the way it is and maybe put a little varnish on there or something. But I have problems with polyurethane. I don't know about you, but drop it in the comments. I'm going to do a video on the funny, not so funny issues I have with polyurethane. How many times it's ruined a project on me. Um, you cannot use oil-based polyurethane with white paint because it turns it yellow. Some of these sprays out there that say they don't yellow, they do. Diclon, Di it's the one I just used. It was terrible. I used Rust-Oleum. Um, clear gloss and it's you know UV protected and it, it says what it does it doesn't leave, um, it doesn't yellow the white paint I, I like to use that the best this sanding block that I'm going to stay on the top before I paint pour over it I'm going to use some white house paint here's my OJ, fresh OJ with coconut water is what I'm drinking today. Um, trying to cut back on monsters. So I got some duration. Mixing up, I don't have much here, so I'm going to use what's left here. Looks good.
Now I'm gonna put silicone in here too because I want really crazy cells. I love putting cell silicone in the, in the house paint. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. I get really good results with it. I really do. Huh. There's some of this stuff that I could use. Every last drop. Every last drop. So this is what we're going to do. I am going to take some of this. I'm just going to thin it out a little bit. Not too much at all. Just a little. Because you need a pillow paint. They call it a pillow paint. You want it kind of kind of thick. It looks a little more. And I'm going to put a few drop of falls. These are for one, two, three. I'm going to put five because there's quite a bit in here. Now, if I put it in a little cup, I only use one. So we're going to shake this up really good. And that will give it like a nice shiny gloss to it too. I think it's already on. It has a little gloss to it when you paint it. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to do my thing here. This is what I do. I just mix paint with stuff. Like a scientist. And work with it. And I usually get pretty good results. I usually use Floetrol, but if I don't have it, I'll find something else. I always have some kind of glue. Sometimes I'll, I'll even use just water. Just water. Just a little bit to thin it out. And um, I get good results with this. This is five bucks at Michael's. Um, really, this is, you know, you don't need a lot of house paint for a top of a, of a um, table. You don't need a lot of house paint at all. This will probably be a good amount that I need. I normally don't yet like the ice when I hear water based because I'm probably still gonna have to seal it with a with a light spray or rustoleum because when it's water based, you put a cup on it. I use this this water based uh, polyurethane. And I love it. It's like a resin. You put nice thick coats. It's wicked shiny. But then you go to, um, you put a cup on it and it leaves a ring mark. Um, so that's not good. So here we go. I'm just putting a little bit in here. Oh, here's my screwdriver right here. That's what I need. There we go. I don't know why it's in there. Here we go, I'm just doing that really, really good. This is gonna be kind of thick, I think. Hey, you know what I have? Oh, let's use this. I got myself a little tool. Oh, I need a bigger cup now. Here we go. I have a mixer. I have a new mixer that I'm gonna use. Where is that thing right there? This is thick. It has to be right. It can't be chunky. So I've been working well, so I have all of the things. I have all of the things. I have my own business now, you know? And this is some girl that had nothing. Started off at flea market, selling my stuff. Now I go to flea market buying stuff. I buy stuff now to save money. I love antiques so I can flip furniture or use any uh, flipping jewelry. So now this is nice. Let's see how it looks. Yep, look at that. So, nope, that's good. That's what we want. Perfect. Let me show you again, just so you know. That's what you want. You want it runny. You want that runny. 
Not a thick one, a nice thin one. That one's in. Okay. When we do the paint, we want it to be a thick one. I'll show you the difference. There is that. I'm gonna mix this right in here because I can do it like that. I can tell that I just need a little bit. I see after a while when you get to do this, you can feel it. Like you know, I just need a little bit in there, it's only a little bit, you just add a little bit. It's fine. I don't want to waste a cup. So now I'll do a cup so you can see what I'm doing here. And how much you put in. So I want about this much. I'm gonna put in about that much. <coughs> you can see. You mix that really, 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 really good. With these little cups, it don't take too long to mix up. Um, I actually got that for resin, so it's awesome. I love it. It takes forever to mix resin. So there we go. Now this is a thicker. Now this is a little thicker of a drip, which I like. Now. It's running fast, but I don't know if you can understand because I feel it. I can feel. See, okay, I did see how that kind of started off a little slow. See, that started off slow. You know, that's a slow, slower, but not too slow. You still want it to flow. It has to flow. You have to have the right flow. And it takes time. It took me a year. I'm telling you right now, before. I was swirling and making um, paint and swirling and making nice paint pouring, you know, swirls, but there was no cells. And I, I'm addicted to cells, I'm going to tell you right now. I am. I want cells. These are too close in color, aren't they? That happened before. Ooh. It's all right. It's all right. I feel like I should go lighter with a lighter color. I think I'm going to get another one. I'm going to use my teal that I use. I'll pour some of this in here so I get it all. So I'll use every last drop. I'll pour that in there. Mix it up and then I'll pour it in the cup. I'm going to get another color. I'm going to get my Oceanic, my favorite color that I use. Which is the one that's over there. There we go. This one's pretty. Banana, Bahama Blue. We need a Bahama Blue. That's what we need. I'm not going to use too much of that. So I mix that up. Pour it in here. So there we go. There's that. I could probably put more in there. This one. About that much. About that much. is really thick. All paints are different, so they don't require that they're all different. Some, you know, deco art is different from, you know, this is uh, Apple. The Apple one is pretty thick of a paint. You know, these uh, Craft Smart is cheap, so I'm doing this economically here. I'm being economical. We're using just enough paint. All we need a nice a nice amount to be able to go across we're going to do a swipe i need more of i'm going to just put a little water in here let me put that in so that's that all right see it doesn't have to be like this perfect it's not that's what i love about it it's not perfect it's so messy so messy. This is a nice thick flow right here. That's nice and thick. It's like a feel of thickness. But it's got a nice flow to it. It's very good. I already do this one. Do this one. I already do this one. So we got three nice colors here. This one's pretty thick. Oh, it's a really thick. A little bit more. Tiny, 
Like I'm talking in tiny bit. You, um, if you're low on paint, you don't want to put too much water because then you'll be bummed. Because you can't add no more paint to it. Like I'm out of metallic, so I want to be careful as to how much water I put in. That's, I kind of like that. Honestly, they should all be a nice slow drip. They really should all be a slow drip. It has to flow in a nice... This one feels like it's thin, but it's not. Weird. See, it feels so thin right now. Like when I feel like it, when I feel it. I'm like, I like how it feels. There we go. That's a nice slow drip. That's a good flow. That's a good flow. Okay, so we got it going now. Now I'm getting paint on now. Where's my rag? Where's my rag? I'm gonna put my gloves on. I'm getting into my nails. Ugh. I used for soap on that, I just used some, um, just Dawn dish detergent to get out grease or, you know, so I'm gonna sand that too real quick. Um, Oh, I don't have my white yet. I need to do white. Oh, so I'm going to have to make some more. I could always use this for a white. I'm just going to use this. That's okay. I got the, that in there. I've never done that before, but why not? I'm trying to teach you how to save money. So, why use another paint if you don't have to? I can just use a strip of this because it's got cell activator in it. Um... I think I might put some cell activator in, in this one too. Get some more crazy cells and get some cool cell action going on. Just one, just one little drop, because I'm a cell fanatic. I just can't help it. I just love the cells, man. I just love them. Okay. So here we go. We're ready. We're almost ready. I'm going to sand it and we're going to paint. We're going to get this paint done. All right, I have. It's going to drip, and I can wipe it down um, and sand it afterwards because it's just going to, I like to let it drip off and see what happens and let it dry, and then I can do the sanding part and stuff like that at the bottom after. Because what's the sense of doing it first and then a paint drip on it? So I do the paint pour first. That's just my theory. So we're gonna take this paint right here, my white that I've done, I made up my, my, they call it a pillow paint, but I don't know if they call it a pillow paint now because I made it my own. I, this is what I do. This is my mixture and you, and it works. It works for me. So I'm putting this on the edges, on the edge. Just that you don't need too much in here because we're gonna use the other colors in here mostly. take one of these one of these let it uh, because what we want Ultimately, is to have so much paint, it drips over the whole, all the sides. It's going to drip right over. Normally, I take some plastic and I put it all around the bottom. But this time, I'm not because there's so much of a ledge. It's going to be fine. It's not going to even, you know, it's not even going to bother. It's not going to 
it's just gonna drip down. I have a trash barrel over here, so when I swipe, it's gonna go right into the trash. So there we go. So I have this little Marnie. She's a cute little girl on Facebook. She want, I know she wants, I'm gonna send this to her first because I know she wants to know how to do this. She said she wants me to make her one, but I, I can show her how to do it herself and I know she'd like that too. But I'm gonna invite her when I have a class someday. It's people like her that keep me going and say, you should have a class. So here I am giving a class. Tell me how I'm doing. Leave me a comment, please. Let me know how I'm doing. By no means, I mean, I can't say I'm gonna call myself a professional artist, but I'm a, a do-it-yourself kind of girl. DIY. Love to do, I can see the cells. This is gonna have some awesome cells. I can just see it already. I can see, I don't know if you can see the paint, but it's like kind of pitted in here. Okay, so this is the fun part. Now, no, the fun part has not even started. So, okay, I'm going to go here with the blue. And I'm going to start here, and I'm going to pour it across like that. Just pour it across. This is my design that I am doing, and it's my favorite, and I like it a lot. And I love my swipe. They're my favorite. So now I'm going to take this and pour it right in there because I don't want it, I want the colors to be different. Like that blue is not going to, I want it to go kind of here. I don't want the two blues that are close together to be close together so that you can see the difference in the color, the blue, the metallic. I want it to show up. So I'm going to put that more in, you know, in here. Get the very last block in there. And I love just using cups and stuff because you can just throw it right out. Throw it out. So here's my metallic. Now this is funny when I when I do these tables, I pay attention to them all night long to make sure I got that flow right and that it's not going to go kaput on me. That's why the flow is so important. It is so important to get that flow right. It has to be thick, but not too thick. Because if it's too thick, it will crack. If it's too thin, it will just, you won't get any cells. It'll, you'll, it'll look so cool at first, and then it will just spread out and be too thin. Why they have a pillow paint on the bottom, they call it, I think. So I, I try not to thin that out too much. Duration, duration is really thick paint. You know, not all house paints are the same. They say you're not supposed to torch house paint either, and um, I do because I want cells and I never had a problem before. It's usually acrylic, mostly over the top, so I'd be quick about it. People might disagree with my my way. I'm sure I'm gonna hear it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Ready? this is my favorite tool in the whole world. I want you to see this good. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is the fun part. Okay, I'm like this. And I kind of move it a little like that because it's like the ocean. So I give it some waves. Ooh. Can't see it on this side. Okay, so very carefully, I'm gonna try to catch it right where that is, where you can see, see how this goes right there. I'm gonna try to 
make it so that um well I wasn't expecting that. It's actually not too bad. I don't even need to torch that. The cells are going nuts already. They're going nuts. I probably don't need to torch it. These are pee pee pads that I have on my floor. I just washed my nice brand new grab cloth. So, this is really doing well. I'm loving these cells, but I am going to torch because I want to see how many more cells are in here. I want to see that teal color that's in here. So here we go. We take this, and this is going to create more cells. This is going to... It's like pops bubbles. Oh, look at that. Watch it. See it? Ooh. That's pretty crazy. And this is going to stay too. It's a nice flow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And this is going to have to dry all night. So we will come back tomorrow. And um, look at the cells go crazy. Wow, I love it. Freaking love it. That's why I put silicone in my house paint. <laughs> That's phenomenal. I just hope it stays like that. It does it's not even dripping. It's not dripping. It's over the sides nice. It's dripping a little bit right here. We're going to take that off like that. And go like that. Yeah. Where's that cloth? Okay, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see better. I want to show you. i to show you how freaking cool this looks. Oh my God, I just love it. And wait till you see it like in the sun when the metallic blue hits it, the metallic. Um, if you put this in your daughter's room and put it right in the window or something, it's going to be wicked cool. Wicked cool. So this is a table that was on the side of the road that is now a piece of art that you can sell for a few bucks, you know. It took time to do this. It takes time to dry, you know. So I get $100 for my tables, and I think that's cheap, if you ask me. A small one, I'd be having it maybe, I don't know how much I charge for this one because it's a smaller table. I don't know, though. Look at that. Is that cool or what? You never know how these tables are going to come out. You just never even know. They go crazy. Look at that, man. Is that cool or what? Ooh. This is what turns me on right here. I get so excited over cells. I just love them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It was exciting watching them go, wasn't it? There's my trash. Yep. Not that much even went in there. I had the perfect amount of paint, man. The perfect amount. I've been doing this a while, so, you know, you can follow my lead if you want. This is what I love right here, the way it drips off the table. How cool that looks. That's like one of my favorite parts. I almost forgot about the little drawer. So I whipped up some colors again, just a little bit. I didn't show it because I did it in the bottle using what's left. We need a little bit. So I uh, I put tape 
took the drawer, this thing out, put tape on the other side. Um, all right, let's use this table there. So you can see what I'm going to do here. This time we're gonna use a tool. torch it a little bit oh my god you didn't even watch what I was doing I'm so sorry that's terrible here we go I used this I put the white down I dribbled I was going over it with this you guys I can't believe I just did that Oh my god. That's not even funny. Hmm. Well now you get to see the sounds going that far. Ooh wee. I just love it. Marge pods and silicone as a cell activator. Yippee I I discovered something new today. <laughs> no. I want this to come over the side of the room. to come over the sides. So we're gonna, we don't care about underneath. But it does look good, doesn't it? I love the drips. The top is important. You wanna see the top. Well, you're not going to see it when the drawer is closed, I don't think. I'm just trying to get the color on there. I put just enough. Okay. Oh, that came out really, really cool. So we're going to let that dry. We'll come back tomorrow and check it out. Looks like I have the perfect consistency. Okay, check that out. I'm teaching you guys something the whole time. It's, I can't even get over that. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm back. I sanded it a little bit, and I think this is going to... I just found something around the house. I ran out of white paint, but I think this is going to look even better. These go for about 10 bucks, and um, I am go I'm going to use this nice brush right here. And this is... These are like $30 for a brush. You don't have to do what I do. If you're just starting out and you want to make some money flipping tables... Um, Go about it in the cheapest way possible, you know. Um, I could not distress this. If you have real wood table, you can distress and save money that way so you don't have to repaint or paint the bottom and just, you know, um, I've wood burned on the top of tables. I started doing that. I drew out, you know, um, my first one was a lighthouse scene that I wood burned. But anyways, you can get a table and fix it up and sell it. And you can even, you don't even have to turn it into an art table. You can just fix it up and make a couple bucks. But when you turn it into an art table, we're talking like now it's worth $100. Because you took your time and you created something different. Um, you know, a little more time went into it. And you created art, so now it's worth more money. 
so give it a whirl. This color right here, won't that look pretty next to with the teal? I think that's a perfect color. I think it's gonna look really good. All right, I'm changing my mind. I'm going with chalk paint right here. We're allowed to do that, right? This one. Okay, so I just sanded this. You want to make sure it's like nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth. And I use this. This is like a 120 grit. So I'll smooth it out nice. Well, there's a crack in there. I'm going to tell you, it's just going to have to give it character. I didn't realize it. I mean, I could try to fill it, but honestly, something like that, I'm just, I'm just going to let it go. Because I think on the table, it's not going to look bad. So that's what I used. Bright, shiny. This is rust. I like Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum is the best, I think. So look at how good that's looking. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit more on the coat. But that's going to look really good. I can't wait. It's not dry all the way. It's still a little wet, but looks good. Now look at that. I mean, wow, wow. Look at that. Looks like it's off of Jordan's Furniture 4. That's what my neighbor said anyways. I didn't say that. So there it is. What do you think, Finn? You like it? So now, that over there has got to go. You want to take good pictures of this. My little table, my work table over there is kind of... So, you know, when you take pictures, you want to get that out of there. Let me put this out of the way here. Um, put it even... You know, next to a, you know, there's so many different things. If if your house is a mess, <clears throat> you know, put it, uh, it's still a little wet. You know, put it outside. When you're doing the video, make sure nothing else is there. So take nice pictures. Take a video, a really nice, good video. They are up to a minute long. With some drips. I, I like the drips. That's just me, but I leave the drips. This gives a character, I think. I love how this little drawer came out. The cells are so cool. So there we go. Um, that's just my little example there as far as... You know, and this didn't cost much. A little house paint, leftover house paint I used. Um, a couple Craft Smart paints. That was a couple dollars. Modge Podge. Um, that's $10 for that container, but you can get cheaper ones. You can go to the dolls, don't get Modge Podge in little containers. Um, they have little ones. But I mean, if you want to save money and trying to make money here, it cost me maybe $20 altogether and my time. So when it's my time and I know what I'm doing and it comes out like a piece of art, then the price goes way up and you're only charging, you're getting money for your time. So that's cool. So I hope this gave you some value. I hope, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to spray this actually with a little, little Rust-Oleum spray. I'm going to spray over the top of it. And um, it'll be ready to go. Put on Marketplace for sale. I have a five-star rating. You have to make sure you meet them on time and, you know, communicate with them. And um, once you get a five-star rating, you get more sales and stuff because you're trust per trustworthy and reputable. So, okay. Peace out.